Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the hold on card. So you are facing some kind of opposition. Uh, something is very, very difficult. You're beating yourself up about it though. You can see this man's got a lot of marks on his back over there. So there's something that you, somebody that you're facing but you're also having a go at yourself. Uh, maybe, you know, you feel that you haven't been strong enough in facing this particular person. Whatever the problem is that is going on, uh, you know, it's quite a difficult situation. So there's a lot of conflict that is involved and it seems like you're at a stalemate situation there. You need to hold on. You need to hang in there uh, and, you know, defend yourself as well. Uh, but you need to um, draw on your reserves of strength and courage and just hang in there. So, uh, the next card is um, pain purifies. So even though you're going through a lot of difficulties and a lot of problems uh, on the work front, it looks like all of this will end up paying off in the end. Uh, you know, you're, you're getting a new vision, a new view of the way things should be. And, um, you know, you will emerge from it much stronger. You have got uh, a goal in mind. This is the card of desire. Uh, and this is the card about focusing all your energy and effort on that goal. Keep that goal in mind. Even though you're going through these difficulties, don't give up. Keep that goal in mind. It is very, very important to follow that desire. You can see all the uh, rays are focusing on that uh, sun over there. So it is something well worth going after, uh, but you just have to keep that goal in mind. Now in the past, you've got the You Are Unique and Meditation card. So whatever you're doing, uh, whatever work it is you're doing, you're pretty skilled at it and you're pretty good at it. And whatever you're doing is pretty unique. Uh, you're doing it in a different kind of way and a lot of people are taking note of that. You've got the meditation card again, needing to focus uh, on whatever it is. And uh, you, know, you will get messages and you will get ideas coming to you. Uh, in order for you to sort out whatever problems you are dealing with or even to sort out any kind of work situation you're dealing with. Now going into the future, uh, it's about going with the flow. So you are going to get growth. You've got this really big tree over here. Whatever you're doing is unique and you're going to have to face it yourself. Uh, but it's also uh, showing that you, know, you need to um, you know, go with the flow of things. Um, and then you've got the vicious cycle over here. So just watch out about uh, you know, changing your mindset or you're going to get trapped within that particular mindset. Um, this is, so try and think your way out of this particular situation. You've got to come up with a new plan to defeat this particular person here who is giving you a lot of problems. So whatever that situation is, uh, it's a really nasty situation. And you know, don't get trapped in feeling depressed or feeling disempowered because it's just going to um, mean that it just ends up in a vicious circle. You're going round and round to that point and not managing to conquer it. So you need to break out of that uh, way of thinking and you need to come up with some kind of new idea in order for you to grow. So, um, you know, you are, prosperity is coming your way. You can see this tree is growing over there. Um, so things are coming, abundance is coming, but you need to just break that cycle. You need to break the way you're thinking or even find a way out of this particular difficult situation. So those are the energies for that week, or those two weeks rather. So I'm using the um, Black Cat Tarot for the main read today. So the card at the bottom of the deck is the Emperor card. So you might be in a situation where somebody is bullying you or um, you know, you're dealing with an authority figure who is trying to get the better off you. So these people are, it's either my way or the highway kind of situation. So this could be the case that, you know, it could be um, an Aries person or a Scorpio person because this is a card that is ruled by Mars. But they are somebody that is in authority and, you know, they are uh, uh, very much uh, a ruler without any compassion. So that's the kind of energy you seem to be dealing with. You need to get your authority or you need to get back your power. You need to take back your power. Um, this, also, this card also talks about you, know, you needing to manage your finances as well. So uh, a, a great need for you to see, a look at your, um, your assets or look at all your, uh, your, your financial situations and make sure that you are balancing it and managing it quite carefully there with that Emperor card. So 
So what's happening with you? It seems like things are pretty much at a standstill. You're stuck in a particular situation right now. You can see this man is stuck in the spider web over here. Uh, his hands and feet are tied. So whatever is going on over here, you're having to, you know, accept uh, whatever um, you know is coming to you. There's always that threat because there's always a threat of a spider in this particular uh, card, uh, and it seems like you're pretty much stuck. So you know, it's almost like you're um, operating under a fear. Um, that you know, if you don't um, step into in line, or if you don't do the things the way this person is uh, expecting you to do it, uh, you're you know you're going to be um, thrown out of that situation. You know, and the card below it is it feels as though you know you're walking on that tightrope, and there's a lot of juggling going on over there. You can see this cat on the type tightrope, you know, ready to fall into the sea over there. So it seems like. Whatever this person is doing to you, whatever authority, uh, authority they have over you, they are really, uh, you know, bullying you quite a bit, and you are feeling pretty much stuck and very threatened as well. You've got the Four of Swords over here, so all the stress is affecting your health um, quite a bit. You've got that Four of Swords. You do need to take a little bit of a holiday, but it seems like you know you're pretty much stressed out. You might be getting some stress-related illnesses as well because of all uh, that is going on around you. Now you've got the Three of Swords over here in the past, and this is you know, talking about being, uh, you know, this is usually the card of heartbreak, but there's a lot of rain in this card, so you're pretty upset about being here, and you're feeling pretty stuck, pretty tied up, pretty stressed out as well over here. It doesn't seem like anybody's around to help you as well. They seem to have all turned their back or walked away. So nobody's there to give you a, help, a helping hand. Now you've got that two of swords over here, so this is about trying to make, uh, you know, usually about trying to make a decision, trying to balance things. There may be somebody around you that is giving you a little bit of advice over there, helping you out in this particular situation, but it seems like, you know, uh, even them, uh, that person, you know, you have to be very, very nice to try and, you know, win their friendship over. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, almost burnt out trees over there. So you are feeling that sense of lack as well uh, in this particular situation. You, you're not feeling happy at all wherever you are. Even though this person is giving you some advice, helping you deal with whatever emotional um, issues are arising from this particular situation, it seems like there's quite a feeling of lack or feeling of not being empowered and also a feeling of not being supported as well. So what's in your mind? You are worried about money over here. You are trying to save as much as possible. And maybe this is the reason why, um, you know, you are um, sticking to this particular job. Because letting go of it means that you have to go into your personal finances over there or into your savings. And maybe this is something, you know, you're doing a juggling act over there. You're trying to balance those finances over there. And now having to um, use your savings is going to, uh, isn't something that you're not really happy to um to tackle. It seems like there's some kind of decision that you have to make. You're reaching some kind of fork in the road about whether or not you want to stay in this particular job. You're managing to save a little bit of money in it, uh, but there's a lot of problems that are going on around you there. So going to the future, you've got the two of rods over here. So there, it looks like, you know, uh, you have to make a decision about getting in out of this place. Uh, there might be an offer that comes in over here with that two of rods, because this is usually about making a decision and making some plans for the future. But there seems to be some kind of barrier or some kind of obstacle preventing you from leaving this particular situation. It looks like you may need to go and get some advice from somebody. There is somebody there uh, that might be able to give you some advice, almost like a partnership coming in over there, a good friendship over there. Uh, and you may need to go and get some advice from this particular person as to what to do because you are very very much stuck in here and there seems to be some kind of barrier preventing you from going forward you've got the uh, seven of cups over here so you are looking at all your options you also are thinking about the past quite a bit over here but you are feeling very very despondent and feeling as though you know you are have been let down quite a bit you've got some kind of vision that you want to do you want to do something and move out into some into more prosperity you want a job that pays you more you have been looking at all these other jobs of there you know maybe looking um looking around considering all your options to try and get yourself out of this place but you are really feeling very much in the dark over there and you know you have got all these plans in your mind uh, so, you know, if you have plans, it's t instead of just thinking about it, you might uh, need to stop procrastinating and actually do things, uh, you know, start being very, very uh, proactive. 
Now you've got the death card over here, so there might be, uh, you know, the situation might arise where you actually just, uh, you know, leave the leave everything and just walk away from it. There might be some further learning or further studying that you need to do to actually um, allow you to break away from this particular situation. You can see, uh, you know, maybe even doing some research and maybe this is the thing that is going to allow you to cut ties and move on. Right now you're pretty confused. You've got a full moon over there in that death card. It seems like you do want to leave the situation, but something is preventing you. And it might be just, you know, doing yourself a bridging course or some kind of further education in order for you to get out of the situation. You've got this um, star card over there. So you are trying to make some plans and trying to find a direction. Uh, you know, you're hoping that uh, whatever um, you, you do next is going to grow. Uh, so, you know, you are um, trying to... Um, Put all, you know, whatever your skills or efforts you put into this new job that you get is going to produce a lot of abundance for you. Uh, and you do have a lot of skills, so you are trying to find um, that direction in your life to get out of this particular situation. It seems like, you know, it's, it's almost like you're quite stuck there and, uh, you know, you're trying to make plans to move out. Now, you've got the judgment card over here and uh, you've got the moon as well as the knight of cups. So the judgment card is uh, being called to make a decision to actually leave this place. So whatever you, wherever you are at the moment, you can see this is very, very hot. Um, you know, you can see the sun is really blasting down on the ground, ground over there. It's all dried and it looks like things are dying there. So, you know, wherever you are, maybe there's a lot of drama that is going on over here and, you know, uh, whoever's in charge is, is really harsh and uh, you know they expect a lot from you and then they're pushing you a lot and this is not giving you a chance to grow because you can see there's no there's no growth of there everything is dying so whoever this person is they're very very controlling very very much a bully um, you know they're si shining down like that sun that is beating down relentlessly maybe they are a very relentless person and you are now uh, you know um, being called to actually make that decision on changing your direction in life. So you may have to make a, a career change and move on from this particular situation. Leave this behind, take all your skills and move forward. You are very confused about what to do. You are feeling very tied up. You can see the hands of this cat or the paws of this cat are tied to these um, sticks on the ground over there. And, you, you know, the, this is the card of the, of the moon where you're feeling very afraid to actually make a decision to move on. It looks like there's some kind of offer that's going to be coming in though. So, you know, if you make that decision and you do some research and be proactive about what you want to do with that Seven of Cups, it looks like an, uh, an offer is going to be coming in for you and it's going to take you away from this particular situation. And it looks like it's going to be a fairly good offer that comes in. There might be some study as well attached to that with that Knight of Cups. So it looks like, you know, if you start doing your research, ask for some advice from somebody, um, you know, and maybe even doing a, a, some kind of course, some kind of bridging course, uh, or some kind of further education, if you can, further training. Um, it looks like an, an offer comes in for you, and it you know, forces you to make that decision, and uh, with that judgment card, it's a brand new start somewhere else, given a second chance. So the universe will open up for you and give you a second chance to do something. The moon is keeping you afraid of moving, and you need to get over those fears, uh, because you're pretty much you know, being bullied right now. So you've got the Ten of Summer over here, and this is usually the end of, uh, you know, all those emotional difficulties. And this is about getting advice from people that you can trust. So you will, um, there are people that you can trust around you. Now with the Ten of Summer, it's about leaving a, a situation that's caused a lot of emotional difficulties. So if you're having a lot of problems, you might end up just walking away and ending that particular cycle. Uh, especially since you have the Death card, it seems like you're going to make up your mind and leave this particular situation. You've got the three of springs, so plan your next steps with the eye to long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. A satisfaction from a, a job well done. So it looks like this, there is some kind of new uh, job that will come in. You, it looks like you might end the situation uh, where you're working at the moment and start something brand new where you do a lot more travel or you're working with a group of people over here and you start making some long-term plans. So all your plans that you put into place, um, whatever you try right now, whatever uh, new jobs you are trying to approach, it looks like success will come in with that three of spring, which is the three of rods. So whatever you put out there will bring in rewards. So that is why it is important for you not to procrastinate, but to actually be quite proactive. So if you're planning on leaving, leave. Um, you know, make steps towards leaving. So go and do your research, put out your, uh, your CV, 
uh, you know, look into other jobs. Uh, so consider all your options. And if you need to do what it takes to get you out of a situation where you are being, uh, you know, because it's affecting your health, you can see that with that four of swords there. You've got the nine of winter over here. So unfounded fear, focusing on the worst case scenarios and allowing worry to grow out of proportion from uh, the problem. So this is about being too afraid to actually make a decision, but also being very stressed out, not sleeping well at night. Uh, so don't focus on on the worst case scenario. Stop uh, being negative about that situation. Even with that moon, it's about being very negative, feeling tied up in the situation, not seeing things for what they truly are. If you start, um, you know, being proactive, it looks like an offer is going to be coming in for you, a really good offer. Uh, you know, you, it's almost like you're being rescued from this particular situation. So go out there and be proactive and, you know, get yourself stuck unstuck from this particular situation because with that four of swords it's indicating that you are feeling very very uh, tired and you're also feeling uh, you know ill uh, and you don't uh, want this scenario or this job to actually start affecting your health and don't be so afraid have faith that you know you don't you know you will get the money that comes uh, that you need will come in for you uh, you know, and do something, do what it takes to get you out of the situation. Like I said, if you do need to do some study, uh, it is something that you do need to do uh, in order for you to get out of this particular situation. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.